catches Blackwell. <laughs> so both leadoff hitters. So they've played in three centuries. Runner goes grounded through the opening on the left side. Perfect. And there's Cooper Ingle doing Cooper Ingle things. Blackwell made the turn, heads to third. First and third, nobody out. Chopper, Schwainer going to throw home. They'll get Blackwell in a rundown. He'll try to stay in it long enough to get Ingle over to third. Unable to do that. It's the first out in the inning. Flying back because exams start next week. Another little chopper in front of the plate. Only played at first and a good job. Dempsey able to pull it out of the dirt for out number two and the runners advance. First time in program history. Lifted to left. Pretty well hit. Long run. Younger off the wall. Couple of runs come home easily and digging for third is Corbett. And he's in there safely with a two out two run triple and the Tigers take the lead. Who's a PC. 3-0 pitch ripped Dempsey one hopper he'll take it to the bag <laughs> ripped into right Bryce over Renwick makes the turn he'll head to third and the Terriers in business here in the second they've got him on the corners to start it out junior out of Atlanta and this time he lays it down it's a safety squeeze the run will score Clayton to first right covering for out number one to be used out of the bullpen Sky to right center, Grice and Brewer converging. Grice calls for it. Runner at second will tag. And Derigi advances to third. He stands there with two away. That Ingle has. And that's into left field. It'll get down, tie the game. So a two out RBI double for Martinez. And just like that, we're back to square one at 2 2. Real difficult ball club to face in postseason play. Looper into left. That's going to get down in front of Corbett. Runner Martinez was off with the contact. He'll come around to the Terriers. A third run here in the second to take a 3-2 lead. First pitch swinging. Rip diving stop right to his feet. Top shelf play by the Tigers second baseman to close out the Wofford second inning. Stop with B. <laughs> and ball four. Runner on the move, 1-1 one, one to second, right at the bag, bobbled, safe there, throw to first, they'll get Hawkins, so Martinez looked like he... One-two pitch, right side, first baseman Dempsey, pitcher Schwainer covers, Brewer goes to third, he stands there, but down beyond the horizon. <laughs> Swing and bunt, right, runner holds at third, throw to first, Dempsey couldn't hold on, runner coming home, and he's in there, and the Tigers tie it up. Good work by Dylan Brewer to recognize that Dempsey wasn't going to be able to field that cleanly. Behind, yeah, as the play was right in front of him. Runner goes, Gills throw, one hop, gets beyond Martinez, popping up Blackwell. He'll head to third, and now he'll be there with two away. That's season for him. Sky to center. Good run, deep and gone. The ball just kept on carrying into the wind. A two-run blast for Cooper Ingle and the Tigers. Another couple of runs on the board to take a 5-3 lead. I got to agree with you, Pete. I was shocked as you looked at those flags. The wind's blowing in, and I thought it was kind of on the inside. Play ranging to his left to close out the Terriers in the top half of the second inning. That's a gapper, and it's going to get down. Hops the hill, one hops the wall, right into second with a two-out double. Speed at second. 3-2 pitch. Off speed, called strike three. J.J. Edwards. This is around 2012, and a swing and a miss. And a second straight strikeout recorded by Malstad this afternoon. 3-1. And one out. 2-2 two -two to Brewer. And right into the glove of Dempsey, then out. So they'll throw to second, get the lead runner, Grice. Team. Runner on the move. Throw down by Gill beyond the reach of Martinez. Brewer pops up. He'll head to third. One, two. Left side. Fair ball right on the line. Brewer jogs home. Hawkins turns and heads to second. Another two out extra base hit that brings a run home for the Tigers in this game. This time the double by Briar Hawkins against a Riggy. Called strike three. First strikeout by a Clemson pitcher. Yeah. Because of the 
not throwing pitches. Once again, a Wofford batter is hit, and that one you could hear up here. Runner on the move. Ball is the call, and sliding in. No, the tag on the back. Great job by Wright covering TSU in their opening SoCon series. On the ground is short Blackwell. And that'll do it and for then, Wofford. But it, uh, and that is going to be ball four. Look like it might have caught a piece. Teams were over 100 that season. Four pitch walk. First pitch swinging. Dempsey knocks it down. Pitcher covering. Throw in time. Nice play by Dempsey to keep us cool. Good job. Bombs and he's getting close to 50 batted in on the season. He's going to get at least one more, probably two RBIs as he lines it into right. The hitting streak continues. Blackwell and Ingle come home, and it's an 8-3 Clemson lead. Sky to left. Pretty well hit center fielder. Younger reaching at the fence, and... The ball is gone. I think both outfielders for Wofford, Deriggi and Younger, was hoping the other one had the baseball. Nobody knew. And, they and out it goes. Stood there, looked at each other. The umpire at second base, who has responsibility for calling it a home run, did nothing because he didn't know. Another 1 2 pitch to the Clemson center fielder. Rip to right, over and slightly in. Hester. Back in the Terriers, three runs, second inning, and he's got himself a single to start things out here in the fifth. Out here today, back-to-back -to -back losses since the first couple of weeks of the season. Sky to center, Brewer back, has room, and it's out number one. Second. One-two pitch. Dempsey high in the air, left center. J.D. Brock just into the game. Dylan Brewer, the center fielder, over, but it'll be Brock who puts it. Runner on the move. Throw down Ingle. Martinez slides and he's out. And what? once again, Cooper Ingle gets a Wofford Terrier attempting to steal. Back in inning number two. This time, Renwick. Do it all by himself. 6 3 for out number one in its ballpark in Macon, Georgia. Right center field going to get down for a hit. Ferry thought about. Digging for two, but he'll retreat to first with a one-out single here in fifth with a man on first and one away. And a liner into left field. Be the tenth hit of the game for the Tigers. Second for Blackwell. Ferry holds up at second. Tigers now two on with one first and second with one away. And now they're loaded. Career high six RBI night last week. And a liner over the reach of the third baseman. It'll get down into the left field corner. Couple of runs come home on the two-run single by Blake Wright. It's 12 to three. And sky to left, high and deep, and gone. Number 18 for Wagner is a three-run blast. It's 15 to three. What a season he's having. Gonna give him five RBIs. The Max Wagner show continues. Back earlier this month shows as Grice goes down swinging for a second streak. His last time up, a couple of runs scored. This time skied on the left side against the shift. Left fielder Dorigi puts it away for out number three. It Freshman out of Myrtle Beach. Chopper, Wagner charges, gloves, throws, and gets. Nice play to retire young. Right, a ground out to short. And now a liner right to third. And there was Wagner. Leadoff single in the sixth inning by Hill. Blackwell plays the hop, throws, and he's able to get Martinez by a step. Six last Wednesday against ETSU, a mile high right side. Dempsey, the first baseman, near the coach's box for out number one. And another one hit high and deep to left. And that one's gone. For the fourth time since April 10th, a multi-homer game for Max Wagner. Give him 19 on the year. Just amazing. Just amazing. A six RBI game. 27 homers and 285. A little looper. That'll get down. Another hit for Brock. He will make the turn digging for second. He'll slide in with the double. Popped up, 
short center. Now going to be a long run just into the game and making that sprint to get to Connecticut. Yeah. My only only blast of the pass there. Johnson pitch hitting for Dempsey down the line and right and off the wall just fair and he will dig for second and head first slide in safely with a have been obviously the lopsided outcomes and a strikeout so those kinds of days and that's what they've experienced today a little flare into right field going to get down they'll wave Johnson he'll come around with a fourth Wofford run of the game RBI single by Galaney his first center field Brewer on his horse shy of the hill and halfway up it able to put it away for out number three Dorigi gave it and he hits that one a good ways to center field tool back at the hill the wall and it's gone you semi called that one <laughs> <laughs> a second career home run for the former Blue Ridge Tiger Starting to feel real comfortable in the uniform of the Clemson Tigers. That one, I think, hit off of our camera stand. The ninth extra base hit for the Tigers. Benjamin Blackwell, new shortstop in the game. And let's see, coming down. Games, but they fell there and called strike three for out number one. Bases, five homers, three doubles, and a triple. Blackwell, backhand, catcher running, stretch Hawkins out. Nice job on both ends. Really good job by Briar Hawkins to stretch by Hawkins. And or not, he kept his foot on the bag when he. Yeah, it's going to be really close. Be close. I mean, the throw beat it, but it's 67 or better. And Martinez trying for a three hit game, and he's going to dunk that one into right field. So first and second with one away in the ninth for Wofford, including that strikeout his last time up. Chopper, Blackwell to second one. On to first, 6 4 3, and that'll do it. And the Clemson Tigers, a decisive win on a Wednesday afternoon at Doug Kingsmore Stadium. 17-4 over the Wofford Terriers.